Hello, beautiful people. It is your girl, Angel and Light, and I want to sit here and talk with you guys today about how you can figure out he's not the one. I am not an expert in dating or relationship advice. I am not a licensed professional. I am just your internet friend that's just going to share her experience with you guys. A lot of you guys have commented and messaged me after watching my video on how me and Emmanuel met his side of the story and a lot of you guys ask me like how do you know someone's not the one and so I want to share with you guys what I felt the first thing that I've always felt actually before I get into that let me just say this when it comes to relationships I've had my fair share honey in all of it the situationships the playing house the girlfriend all of it I I have used my experience in those relationships to really understand my flaws as well as what I I did not want to have in a relationship going forward when I started courting, dating my husband, X, Y, and Z. Um, if there was ever a guy I was interested in, not to toot my own horn or sound <laughs> brag, like brag, like I'm bragging or anything like that, if there was a guy I was interested in, I always ended up pretty much dating them um for the most part if not like you know kind of casually talking and then figuring out that I didn't want to date that person but for the most part any person I really wanted to date I actually ended up dating um and this the reason why I share this is because sometimes as women we get into relationships that we want that we are not supposed to be in like guys my first boyfriend I thought I was going to marry him did not happen and I thank God it didn't happen because it, oh, Jesus only knows um even there was just so many people that I just thought like oh yeah I wanted them oh my gosh he he wants me too let's be in a relationship we're in a relationship oh yeah uh, not working so these are the things that I recognized in my relationships that kind of showed me that this person wasn't the one the first thing was gut feelings Whenever I was in a relationship or a situationship or whatever y'all want to call it, um, I always got a gut feeling. And when I got this gut feeling, it wouldn't just happen once. It would happen multiple times. And I would always ignore it. And I now, as a 27-year-old married woman, have recognized that this was my body giving me warning signs that, hey, this person's not good. A lot of people um, have done studies, I'll probably put it up on the screen, about how the gut is linked also to the heart and the mind and how it's like it's like our security, right? really, for our emotions. It's like our guts just be knowing some stuff, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a gut feeling and, like, listen to your gut feeling or not listen to it, but let me know in the comments what your experience with your gut feeling is. My gut feeling was always like, nah. He ain't the one, sis. He is not the one. And so for the long, for a long period of time, I mean, from freshman in high school to how old was I in the last relationship? 20 something. I'm 27 now, probably like 23, 22. That period of time, I think, I feel like I was dating someone when I was 23, 22. I don't know. From that period of time, I've realized I've always had a gut feeling when the guy wasn't the one. The next thing was always feeling like I had to try to prove myself for their approval, um, for their appreciation. Like, I mean, trying to go above and beyond just for them to notice me. Like, first of all, the way it started is always great. They're checking up on you. They're texting you. They're calling you. You know, you guys are really cool. You're really close. Um, then all of a sudden, it's like you're trying to fight for their attention. And that's one thing I realized. And I'm going to go into detail more with why I feel like this happens. Um, but yeah, I always felt like I was trying to prove myself. Another reason I knew this, like a guy wasn't the one was that, and this is so specific. I have, I have to let you guys know. The way you know someone's not the one, it always pertains back to you, not that person. I mean, yes, there are some things, story for another time. But the ones I'm going to talk about pertain to how I felt. And what I was doing. Because, yeah, anyways. I saw that I was dimming my own light just because I was shining too much. 
and when I say this there was a relationship that I was in and I mean I was hitting the fashion game hard I had I had people buying so much of my designs for those of you who don't know me I used to sew clothes and sell them um and I took off running right after high school I mean I was making bank baby like you lord knows um, but yeah, there was just different things. I'm a people's person. So everybody was just like gravitated to me. I was really good at hair and makeup and, you know, some other stuff. And I remember this guy that I was dating, he was like, he couldn't take my shine. And it was like, I always have to kind of like downplay myself. So he didn't feel like, oh, she's better than me. And that's one thing I realized that I knew if a guy does that, he's not the one because you want to be with someone that will lift you up and support you and encourage you, not make you feel like what you're doing as far as living out your purpose or even trying to figure out what your purpose is. You don't want somebody just kind of pooing on you, okay? Um, another reason why I knew somebody wasn't the one was I would begin to lie to the people that I love. So I would lie to my mom. I would lie to my sister. I'd even lie to my best friend. I would lie to people who generally, like generally, generally, genuinely <laughs> love me. And it'd be about little things, guys. I mean, from where I'm at, what did I do in the day? Like, I would just lie over the smallest things because of what, I don't know. I just, I would lie to people that I love. Um, with lying, I became more secretive. And my mom would always say this thing to me. She would always say, whatever you do in darkness always comes to light. And when I tell you that has stuck with me throughout my whole life, because it's, it's so true, even as a little girl, like knowing that if I did something bad to my siblings, my mom would find out. Um, if I try to hide something from like her in high school, she would find out. Like, I remember I would skip school. Long story short, she found out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I felt like I was being really secretive. And so with lying and being secretive meant that I kept trying to hide something. And it was like, if I was in a good, healthy relationship, why would I be hiding and why would I be lying? Um, another way I knew somebody wasn't the one was um, I constantly didn't feel good enough. I mean, look at me. Look at you. You are a catch. If you are in a relationship and you feel like your self-esteem is being depleted, chances are he's not the one. I remember being in a relationship, and I mean, to the point where the guy made me feel like I was broken. Like, oh, you can't do this or you're not doing that. And I I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I remember I put, I, I got on myself so hard because I wanted to, like, prove to him that, yes, I'm good enough. Like, I am wife and material. I am this. I am that. But it's like, why do I have to prove to you something that I know that I am? You know, whether I could do certain traits or not, like, I should be good enough for you. And I'm not saying that as like, oh, be happy with where you are now. No, I'm not saying that because I really do believe everyone has room to grow. Um, but the certain things he was speaking about was something where I was like, why are you even comparing me to other women in this way? You know? Um, so that's how I knew somebody wasn't the one was when I tried to, when I felt like I wasn't good enough. Um, another way I knew somebody wasn't the one was staying while they cheated on me. Like, I mean, first of all, honey, if he's cheating on you, take it from me. Do not stay because he doesn't respect you. And if he doesn't respect you, how can he love you? I think respect goes further than love because if you love somebody, you respect them. And if he doesn't respect you enough to keep his hands to himself or his mouth out of somebody else's inbox or phone or ear, he ain't the one. He is not the one. I'm sorry for smacking that hard, but he's not the one. I remember I would say with some guys that would cheat on me, I mean left and right, left and right. And then I would find the girl or not, not that I would find the girl. The girl would hit me up say, hey, yeah, I'm with this guy. Are you with him? We'd figure out that he's playing both of us like on some, oh, oh my gosh, like on some real ghetto, bougie, just not even ghetto and bougie because this happens with everybody, all races. It was just really messy. That's what I mean to say, messy. It was really messy. I remember this one time, me and this girl, we 
<clears throat> we stopped the guy and we were like, you're playing both of us? And I remember at this point, I actually ended up leaving the guy because he had done it so much. I mean, even to the point there was one time I was dating this guy. I had just left his house because I was going over to a meeting somewhere. I had just left his house and I actually forgot something there. So I turned around to go back. And as I was going back, I was walking up his street and he was walking back down his street with another girl. He told me in front of this girl, this is how you know I shouldn't have been with him. He told me that was his cousin. This girl was not his cousin. They were talking to each other. And I remember when I went back to his house, I looked at his mother and I just started crying. And she hugged me and she was like, he's no good. She loved me. She was like, he's no good. You just need to leave him alone. Like, I love you so much, but you don't deserve that. And I remember how upset I was. And I stayed with him. I don't blame the woman in that situation. I don't blame her at all because it's not her responsibility to make a man faithful or keep a man faithful. If a man goes out of his way, out of his relationship to have another relationship with a girl, it's not her fault. It's his fault. And it's kind of sad on her side because she allowed that. I don't know what he told her, so I can't judge her. I don't judge her. I honestly feel bad for both of us for dealing with someone that lame. But nonetheless, if he is cheating on you and you are staying with him, chances are, honey, he's not the one. The next thing I have was I had this saying. Y'all, I had this saying. Don't go back to an ex because they are an ex for a reason. And granted, I do understand some people have to break up and then they're better for each other in another season. But for me... If all of my exes were like everything I just said or made me feel like everything I just said, chances are he's not the one and I don't have no business going back to them. There was a time where I did go back to an ex and I mean, it was the worst, absolute worst, absolute worst relationship. I mean, I lost myself in that relationship. It was horrible. I wish that no woman has to deal with that. And I pray that he finds Jesus, but it was an ex and I was like, nah, I should have never went back. I knew I shouldn't have went back. And I remember as soon as I started dating him again, I thought of my saying and I was like, yeah, but it's it's okay. It's him, you know? Stupid. Um, not stupid, just naive. Another reason why I knew somebody wasn't the one was I wasn't living my purpose anymore. Instead of living my purpose, I was just out trying to be with him 24-7. I mean, up under him with him, with him and his friends, with him at night. I mean, all of it. I mean, I didn't want him to be, I, I was like possessive. I couldn't trust him. So I always wanted to be with him. And then I got so obsessed that I forgot who I was, why I was created and just try to, you know, be this man's whatever, because I, clearly I wasn't his girl because he didn't respect me. None of them. <laughs> but look at me now. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for my husband. Um, but yeah, that was super unhealthy. To lose yourself, like for me to lose myself and not want to live out my purpose. If you're with somebody, like I said earlier, they should encourage you. They should make you feel like you're amazing. They should make you feel like what you're trying to do is helpful for the world and all of that. Um, that's all I have for you guys. I'm looking at my notes and I'm sorry, I need to drink water. <laughs> I know sometimes I'm long winded. I know I make that little smacking, but I really hope you guys heard my heart in this when it comes to recognizing if somebody's not the one. If he treats you bad, if he doesn't respect you, if your self esteem is at its all time low and you feel like, you're constantly trying to get his approval for something. It's not worth it. And it's not worth you staying in that relationship either. There's somebody out there that's going to love you and love all of you. Everything about you. And when I tell you it's worth waiting, like I talked about it earlier. Um, things got weird after, you know, like when you're dating someone, like everything's great in the beginning. You didn't know them. You're talking all the time. It's just like this whole like honeymoon phase. For me, the reason why I chose celibacy is because in the past, I would have sex with my boyfriend. And 
I remember any time I had sex with one of my boyfriends, the whole relationship changed. The whole thing. I mean, how he spoke to me changed. Everything changed. And then the whole relationship became about sex. And so in the last video I posted about Emmanuel's side, I love that he brought that up about how with sex, it complicates things and it kind of gives you a clouded mind because sometimes we, we associate sex with love. And sex is not love. No way is sex love. Okay? We as women crave to be loved. We want to be loved. We want to be in a relationship. I I mean, yes, there's some women that don't want a relationship. That's good for them. But most women that I know, they have this desire to be married. Um, I've never met a woman that wanted just to have a fling and if she did, my assumption would be because she has low faith in men because of her past hurts. Um, I encourage you guys to try celibacy. I'm not telling you that you have to, but with what I believe, I do believe in waiting before marriage because honestly, if I could if I could go back, I wouldn't have lost my virginity. I would have rather waited. Um because sex just complicated things and it just made me feel like this is too much. <laughs> but when you meet the right one, all the past, everything doesn't matter. Like when I tell you, first of all, nope, I'm gonna save that for another video. But anyways, I love you guys. This video is already getting long. I just want you guys to know that you are beautiful. You are brilliant. Don't ever let a man dim your light. Not even just a man, but don't let anyone dim your light. Don't ever feel like you have to compete for someone's affection or someone's attention. You're so amazing. Your life is full of purpose. Don't waste it chasing a man that doesn't even want to be chased or wants to chase you. I am praying for you guys to be in a healthy relationship, a relationship that God created. And I'm believing that you guys will be married. It breaks my heart to see heartbroken women on my YouTube account. Because I know how it feels to have low hope. So, hear my heart. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. I couldn't leave the video like that. So, I had to take a moment and really just get myself a little together. I want to pray with you guys just really quick. I know this video is long, but just let me pray for you guys. Um, God, I thank you that you love these women so much. God, I thank you that you've formed them in your image. I thank you, God, that you've created them with a purpose and a plan. I thank you, oh God, for every single thing about them. I thank you, oh God, that right now, as they wait and submit their lives to you, oh God, and wait for your perfect will for their life, oh God, that they will be built up, oh God. Let love rest inside of them. Let self-esteem grow. God, I pray right now that you begin to release that woman in an unhealthy relationship. I pray that you begin to cover her mind. Remind her that she was beautifully, wonderfully, and fearfully made. God, I thank you right now that you love these women, that you would have them just have this time of singleness, oh God, to spend with you, to spend with themselves so they can get to know themselves better. Lord, I thank you and I trust you for their lives. I thank you, oh God, for every husband on his way. I thank you right now that their husband is praying for them. I thank you right now that you're preparing their husbands. And God, I pray right now that you begin to put faith and love and hope into their hearts. Remove all the doubt. Let them let go of the worldly perception of love and lean on to your definition of love, oh God. And when they feel alone, oh God, I pray that you send good friends around them, good sisters, Good people that will keep them encouraged and keep them from falling, oh God. I thank you for their life. 
Continue to do what only you can do, oh God. You know each and every woman listening to this prayer. Touch her heart, touch her mind, heal her heart, heal her mind. Allow her to see the worth that she has, oh God. Allow her to know that she's worth it. And God, we repent before you for anything we may have done to sin against you, knowingly or unknowingly. And God, we thank you that each and every day is a new day to start again. I remove and I come against shame right now, Lord. Let every woman right here under the sound of my voice know that they are still the most precious jewel of this world. Despite where they've been, what they have done, there's no blemish you can't wash away, oh Lord. I thank you, oh God, that if you could do it for me, you could do it for them. God, I thank you. I worship you and I adore you. In Jesus' name, amen.